So Tammy, you have six jobs. First of all, what are those jobs? <laughs> and can you tell us what it's like to juggle six jobs? Um, I feel like it sounds crazier than it actually is. Um, I've been so used to it for a long time now, but I am a real estate agent. I'm also a real estate investor. I flip houses. Nice. Um, I'm a bartender. I have my own insurance brokerage. I have my own marketing company. And then I act and model on the side as well. Ooh-wee. See, that's sexy to me. That's a handful that. right there. <laughs> that's, that's, I get the exact opposite of what these guys say, talking about you work too hard or whatever the case may be. And I think that, first off, that's just sexy. Can we just say that? How the hell did you get into the real estate game? Tell us about that. So growing up, I am a person that's a huge planner. And I knew right from a young age that this is what I wanted to dip my feet into was real estate. Um, I saw the value in it um, before, beyond my years. So my parents flipped properties when I was younger, um, and I was surrounded by that. But moving out at 17, I wanted to make sure that I had my own stability. I did so much research of like, what is going to be the longevity of wealth, and that's going to be property. Um, and then look at 2020, where literally the market is insane right now, and anybody who bought a house and sold a house in 2020 has sold it for probably 30% more than they ever could have in a normal market, you know? And that's like a, re that's a return that you can't even get on most stocks. So, yeah. I, I know a I lot, a, a lot of guys, uh, guys as in both genders or all genders uh, that say that are the ones that are in New York say they're staying in New York and they, they're, they're happy that people are leaving because real estate, everything's so cheap now. And so well, they're just trying to buy up them. all, they're trying yeah. to buy all of New York. Is that, is that your thinking and logic? Oh yeah, absolutely. We're all, I feel like people who are in real estate look at businesses two steps ahead mm -hmm. um, because it's not going to be an auto or an immediate gratification kind of investment. You know, it's a long-term um, investment that is very well paid off if you are willing to wait and have the patience. I love right. that you got that education early on. I think that's so important. Like with my kids, I want to give them real estate books and investment books early on and like you know, maybe a gift, like put some money in some stocks for them or something like that's going to set them up in the best possible way for wealth down the line. Are hey, you going to yeah. do that, Kanye? You're going to do what, uh, this is a terrible example, but you're going to do what Kanye did for Kim and got her some stock? Hell yeah. Well, that, that's, <laughs> that's a present right there. That's a real present. That is a present. None of this, none of this Birkin bag stuff. Like, <laughs> give, give that. I'm with you. Like, I could care less about the materialistic things. If you want to impress me, like, let's go in on a property together. Hell you yeah. Know? <laughs> you want to turn me on? Let's go in on a property. Let's do it. Y'all listening, though? Y'all listening? She said, let's <laughs> go half on a property. We ain't going half on a baby. Let's go half on a property. <laughs> uh, <laughs> talk about that, going half on a baby or half on a property. Do you feel at times you got to pick between dating? and a career, and if you do have to pick, are you happy? I feel like, yes, I do have to pick, and it's difficult to come to that conclusion because you want the best of both worlds, you know, but I think that's why I've been single as heck is because I put my all, my time, my energy, my love into my career and my work, um, and then that's why dating is on the back burner, you know? But I get that. So, you know, I've, when I was a financial advisor, I would work from like legit 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. Mm -hmm. And probably the reason why I went on the show, because I didn't see the summer for two years. I didn't see the sunlight, right? And it my, when I started off, my whole mindset was, nobody cares, work harder. Then towards the end of it, and still to this day, and it's proven me right for myself, it's no longer uh, nobody cares, work harder. Now it's Nobody cares, work smarter, right? And you mentioned one of the things that you do as a real estate investor and flipping houses. Do you see a point in time in your life, in your career to where you could be making what I call paper bag money to where every month you get a check in the mail? And so therefore your time is not tied to work? That residual. Yes. Um, actually, I am working on that um, as of 2020. I quit my job at Allstate, which was my desk job from nine to five. Mm -hmm. um, and I started to just realize that my time is so much worth more than yeah. the money. Yeah. But like, I do have the paperback income to back me up on times where I'm not physically working. You know, I am always working because I'm going to contribute my time wherever I can in my careers. Yeah. But 
Yeah. I mean, I feel so like today I just took a walk, a long walk to go get coffee. And I haven't been able to do that since I was probably 15 years old. And it just felt really good. And I think to a point there was a anxiety aspect of it. Like I, if I'm not sitting at a desk from nine to five, am I making money? You know, am I, know I not that. making money? Yeah, and it's yeah, such a, a terrible that. feeling. But yeah. I think now I'm learning that time is worth more than the money. Um, and that's why I believe on the show in the show too. And I prepared myself this year more than I did the first time is that I'm, I'm more comfortable with leaving and going on vacation if I wanted to and having my residual incomes take care of my life. Yeah, that's without having boss. the anxiety of yep. it. 